In this video, various types of gear tooth failures are discussed. Here it is assumed that a viewer is familiar with the Levis equation of beam strength and Buckingham's equation of VR strength. Because these two equations consider the geometric parameters as well as material characteristic parameters into account. Now there are two basic modes of gear tooth failures. First one is the breakage of tooth due to bending failure and another is the surface destruction. The surface destruction is further categorized into abrasive wear, corrosive wear, initial pitting, destructive, destructive pitting and scoring. Now prior to that, here are some material requirements that must be met by the gear tooth such that they should have sufficient strength so that they will not fail under static as well as dynamic loads. Now gear tooth should have wear resistance characteristics for the satisfactory life. The space requirements and material characteristics should be recommended. For better performance of gears, the alignment and deflections of the shaft must be considered. And at last, there must be satisfactory lubrication. Next, we shall see the failure types. The first main type of gear tooth failure is the breakage of tooth. That is, it is due to bending failure. Now it is also considered as abnormal failure. It happens when the sum of static and dynamic loads becomes greater than the beam strength of the gear tooth. The complete breakage of the tooth can be avoided by adjusting the geometric parameters in the gear design such as the module and face width. Now let us see the various modes of surface destruction then, and they are classified according to their primary causes. Now let us first one see the abrasive wear. Now foreign particles in the lubricant such as dirt, rust, wheel spatter or metallic debris can scratch or brinel the tooth surface. By providing oil filters, increasing surface hardness and using high viscosity oils. This type of wear can be avoided. Now due to high viscosity oils, there is thick lubricating film developed which allows fine particles to pass without brinelling the surface. Now next one is the corrosive wear. Now the corrosive, corrosive element elements cause the corrosion of the tooth surface. The extreme pressure additives are added in the lubricating oils to improve their performance. Now these extreme pressure additives present in the lubricating oils and foreign particles due to external contamination attack the entire surface uniformly. Now the remedies can be providing the complete enclosure for the gearbox, selecting proper additives and replacing the lubricating oils at equal intervals. Now the next one is the initial pitting. Now initial pitting is also called as corrective pitting which is a localized phenomena characterized by small pits at high spots. Such high spots, high spots are progressively worn out and the load is redistributed. Now the initial pitting is caused by the errors in manufacturing such that they may induce dynamic loads. Now these errors can be error in tooth profile, surface irregularities and misalignment. Now this uh, type of wear can be avoided by precise machining of gears, adjusting the correct alignment of gears so that the load is uniformly distributed across the full face width and reducing the dynamic loads. Now the destructive pitting. Destructive pitting is a surface fatigue failure which occurs when the load on the gear to exceeds the surface endurance strength of the material. The surface endurance strength plays vital role in deciding the life of gear tooth. This type of fear, failure is characterized by pits which continue to grow resulting in complete destruction of the tooth surface and in some cases even a premature breakage of the tooth. Destructive pitting depends upon the magnitude of 
holds contact stress and the number of stress cycles. This type of wear can be avoided by taking the wear strength of the gear tooth more than the sum of static and dynamic loads. Surface endurance strength can be improved by increasing the surface hardness. Now the last type of failure is the scoring. Now scoring happens in the gear drives due to the breakdown of the oil film. Excessive surface pressure, high surface speed and inadequate supply of the lubricant result in breakdown of the oil film. This results in excessive frictional heat and overheating of the meshing teeth. Now therefore at high temperature scoring happens. Scoring is also called as a stick slip phenomenon that is alternate welding and shearing takes place while transmitting the power at high spots. In this case the rate of wear is faster. Scoring can be avoided by selecting parameters such as surface speed, surface pressure and the flow of lubricant such that the resulting temperature at the contacting surfaces is within the permissible limits. The bulk temperature of the lubricant can be reduced by providing the fins outside the gearbox and a fin is cooled by forced circulation. Thank you.